Well, those are some odd colored blobs, and those shots are positives of black and white negatives that show fixer stain on the film. Here's a negative of one of them so you can see the actual colors that came through this film when it was digitized. This shows a staining pattern. The same issue can manifest as cloudy negatives or blotchy cloudiness on your negatives. The issue that's going on is that the fixer that was used on this film was bad. The negatives were likely also left in it to sit a little bit too long to compensate for the fixer being weak. So to prevent issues like this, keep your fixer fresh. Don't overfix in bad fixer and simply get fresh fixer when your fix is at the end of its life. As a guide, fix should be used for no more rolls than the manufacturer suggests on the package. Liquid fix concentrate should be disposed of if it's not used to make stock solution before the expiration date on the package. Powdered fixer typically doesn't expire. For stock fix solution, even if it's unused, it should not be kept longer than about six months. So when you mix your fix, always write the date that you mixed it on the bottle that you store it in. Also use hatch marks to count off the number of rolls you've used and 35 millimeter equivalent to track how good your fix is. I use one hatch for 35, two for 120, two four by five sheets per one hatch, and 110 I honestly don't mark because it's like, I don't know, 15, 20% of a 35 millimeter roll, who cares? Doing that and tracking will give you a good record of how far along your fix is in its lifespan and it will let you know a little bit ahead of time when to make more so that you don't find that you're out of fix and only have bad fix to use.